Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about 10 tips on how to elevate your style. These are just my opinions and what works for me. There are many other videos that you can look at or articles to research if you want to get a broader range of what will help you elevate your personal style. So. Number one, invest in good denim. I have turned a couple of my friends on to higher quality denim. Some of my favorites are Madewell, Levi's, Francesca's jeans actually have really great pairs. My favorite brand of theirs is called Harper. And then I also really love Free People jeans. No one likes their jeans stretching out throughout the day. It is the most annoying thing in the world. Having good quality denim can really elevate your style because your jeans will always look very put together and the fit of your style won't change throughout the day the longer you wear your denim. I just think this is a must-have thing in your wardrobe to have very good high quality denim because it can really make or break your outfit. The better your denim fits, the better they will look on you. I know this from my own personal experience. When your denim is lower priced, it probably indicates that it's lower quality. So I recently switched my denim a few years ago and I have seen a significant change in how it elevates my style. First of all, my denim fit way better and I can wear it multiple times throughout the week without having to wash them right away because it actually keeps their shape which is a major plus one of the reasons why i love made well so much is because if you bring in an old pair of denim it doesn't matter what brand it is what color it is they'll give you 20 dollars off your next purchase of denim so you can go in with old denim and walk out with new denim and get 20 dollars off and then the cool thing that they do with their denim is that they will recycle it and turn it into insulation for housing number two have a variety of shoes for example i love my white sneakers I love my booties for the fall and summer and spring. They're kind of just an all year round thing. I love my loafers and I love my heels, but choose what best suits you. So if you are someone that loves sneakers and you don't wear heels and don't really wear booties or anything else like that, but you love a good sneaker, invest in a few pairs of good sneakers then. An interesting fact that I remember being told when I was younger, people can tell a lot about a person the first time they meet them based on the shoes that they are wearing and I think that is so true. Shoes can say a lot about your personality, how you like to dress, and kind of about who you are as a person. If someone has really nice clean shoes, the first thing you notice is probably that they're fashionable but it also says a lot about how they take care of their things. So I think that's really important to invest in different pairs of shoes to elevate different looks that you're going for. Just make sure you invest in a few different pairs so you can always switch it up. Number three is accessories. Do not overdo your accessories because you do not want to look too cluttered, too busy or too loud. Accessories look great on people and I'm all for accessorizing, but I prefer for my personal style to keep it simplistic. For example, if your outfit is already loud, like for example, I have this gold leopard top behind me. I wouldn't want to overdo that with loud accessories. I might keep it down to some simple gold hoops or like a sterling silver necklace. The top is already very loud. It speaks for itself and I don't want to distract or take away from the main piece by adding too many accessories onto it. So my tip is just be mindful when you're wearing prints or patterns or loud pieces like this shirt behind me to keep your jewelry at a minimum and make sure that your statement piece is your statement piece and that you're not taking away from what you want people to notice. So a little side tip, be mindful of what metals you are mixing. Some people might not be bothered by that and that's fine, but for me, I'm a very detail-oriented person. I really like all my metals to match. I just think it's a more cohesive look. So for me, I'm a gold person. I talk about this in a jewelry statement piece video that I will link up here. I don't mix my gold with my silver because I just think it takes away from the actual pieces that I'm wearing. five is buy clothes that you will actually wear more than once. So the key here is to buy something that you can mix and match with other pieces in your closet to create a variety of different outfits without it being noticeable that you're wearing the same thing. I also talk about this in my basics video which I will link up here as well. The fundamentals of basics are so important to have in your closet. You want to have pieces that are neutral and cohesive. The majority of people obviously have over a hundred items in their closet but do they actually wear all of those pieces? No, I am not against buying unique pieces. As you can see behind me, I have a lot of unique pieces, one with feathers, leopard, all of that stuff. Goal here is to buy something that you will actually wear more than once and that you can wear differently each time you wear it, creating several different unique looks that cater to your style. Number six. This one is a given, but I just have to add it because it's important. 
take care of yourself. I'm not saying you need a full-fledged face of makeup every day. Grooming should not be about impressing others, but it's just making sure that you're mentally taking care of your health on the outside and the inside. But it's just a common sense concept. Your body will thank you and you'll look better and you'll feel better. Number seven, know your fit. I am totally on board for the whole trend of the luxe oversized fit, the oversized hoodies, flannels, joggers, sweatpants, the sets, all of it. I love that style. But I'm talking about when you're actually wearing something that's supposed to fit you right make sure it fits you right if you're wearing a top that's supposed to be fitted to you it should feel like a hug not like you're suffocating in it and not like you're drowning in it along with that maybe invest in a tailor if clothes don't fit you the way that they should if you're kind of in between sizes they'll make sure all your needs are met and that your clothes will fit you properly wearing something that actually fits right will elevate your style and it'll make you look like you know how to dress yourself you know your size you know what looks good and what doesn't number eight is probably one of my favorites it is layering I understand this will determine where you live. You're not going to want to layer when you live in 90 degree weather all year round, but layering can really elevate your style. Take, for example, a white t-shirt and blue jeans. If that outfit is something that you love wearing and you're comfortable in it, elevate it a little bit. Put a cardigan over it and then put a jacket over it or a bomber. Add texture to your clothes and that will really elevate your style. I took a flannel, tied it, put a cardigan over it, and then put a leather jacket over it, added a beanie, and it just completely changed the whole look as if I were to just wear a flannel and jeans. Adding an accessory will elevate your style, a look that will tell people that you put a little more detail and time into it than just throwing something on. Number nine, try a monochromatic look. I love this trend. I think it is so classy, but it really makes you look chic. So basically, if you don't know what monochromatic is, it's taking one color and wearing that one color, but adding different hues of that color in. For example, I did a gray monochromatic look. My denim was gray. I had a darker gray t-shirt on. I added a gray blazer coat, and then I had gray Sorrells on. It's all gray, but they're different hues and shades of gray. So it's monochromatic, but it works. It makes it look super put together. I think one of the hottest monochromatic trends right now is obviously the creams, the Kardashian do this all the time. They wear different shades of cream or white and that is a perfect monochromatic look example. I would tend to stick to more earthy tones for monochromatic looks because I think they're more chic looking. You can do purples, greens, yellows, pinks, anything can work as a monochromatic look. You just have to have different shades of it, wear it all together and you'll really see. So my 10th tip is always keep experimenting. Stick with what you feel comfortable in because that's the most important aspect but don't be afraid to try new things. You'll never know what you'll end up loving. For example, I had a pleated leather skirt that I wanted my mom to desperately try on and she just laughed because she was like, there's no way I'm going to wear a pleated leather skirt. She put it on and she looks stunning. She ended up loving it. Try things, but don't feel like you have to keep wearing them if they don't work out. Know your style, stick to it, but don't be afraid to experiment. And I do have a bonus tip for you all today. So number 11 is buy quality. And this is a bonus tip because I don't feel comfortable, nor will I ever feel comfortable telling people how much money they should spend on their clothes. But I will say when you invest in quality pieces you are going to elevate your style in so many ways for example if you go out and buy an $8 sweater and then you buy an $80 sweater tell me which one will last longer which one will fit better which will be more comfortable in the end that $80 sweater is gonna last you way longer than buying $28 sweaters and I know people are so money conscious and people can't afford to buy the $80 sweater which is why this is just a bonus tip take it as a grain of salt buy quality clothes when you can and when you feel comfortable I promise it'll change change the way you feel and close. All right, that is it today. Thank you so much for watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe, click the like button, and if you liked this video, make sure to share it with your friends and family so that they can check it out as well. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.